Hello, all my Geminis. Welcome to your timeless love reading. Uh, the purpose of this reading, we're going to kind of focus in on like your love adventure over the next one to three months. It's a general reading, so it'll vary by individual, but um, we're gonna, it's gonna be that time frame, one to three months. Um, before we jump into the reading, as always, I just love to just express our appreciation to the Creator for your presence, for being here. Um, just to have the Creator of all things be interested in our lives, to be with us every second of every day. We're so grateful. And especially since in that presence you have unconditional love for each and every one of us. We're so grateful for that um, and we welcome you. We also welcome the host of amazing, beautiful, uh, host of beings of unconditional love and light. Um, we welcome you here as well, and thank you for helping bring through messages. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to start off by pulling a card to see what the Creator would like us to know about the pain of our past. And the reason that we're doing that is because in our journey of love, you know, it's all about our self-love and how we love others, right? Um, and we're only able to love others to the extent that we love ourselves. We're also only able to receive love from others to the extent that we love ourselves. So um, that's the reason why we're going to pull a card here from the Archetype Cards um, by Carolyn Miss, and we're going to see what the creator would like us to know about the pain of our past. And don't worry, it gets it gets better. We we look at other things. <laughs> this is just the baseline to know what the creator wants us to to work you know, not necessarily wants us to, but uh, recommends, you know, it's good advice. <laughs> All right, creator, what would you like our Geminis to know about the pain? of their past, please. What would you like Gemini's to know? Okay. Put those over there. We got the king, and we're gonna look at the shadow attributes because those are what are shadowing your, um, you know, self-love and your love about yourself. So this kingly personality here um, is someone who had excessive feelings of entitlement, rulership without restraint. So, you know, I know we've all probably experienced this in our lives at some point, but the one that caused um, the, the pain for your life or created the experience of the pain for your life, this character that was in, um, in your life at some point, is someone who like lorded themselves over you they again you know it mentions entitlement so they um just felt like everything was supposed to be given to them um and and the reason that happened just a little bit of a, a background for them is because they felt so low of themselves that they had to try to control so much outside of themselves and they almost became um, a bully of sorts where they wouldn't accept no for an answer when they wanted something and they would make you feel um, you know so low or they would say things to you that would um, I used to call them um, destroyers because <clears throat> when someone feels low about themselves so they think you're up here and they feel they're down here they will try to bring you down to where they feel they are at right but on the other hand we usually most of us humans have a low self-esteem in the beginning right <laughs> so we think we're down here and we think they're up here and when they're destroying us, we feel like they're pushing us further down and raising them even more. And so that's why we get defensive. That's why we get uh, have that fear kick in. And we have all those, um, you know, lovely opposite emotions of unconditional love for ourselves. There's also um, what I call boasters. 
and those are the individuals who um, you know think they're down here and you're up here and they will boast about themselves to try to make them believe that they are up where they think we're at and the thing about that is they don't believe all this boasting otherwise they wouldn't have to boast but they're trying to get other people outside of themselves to also um, reiterate that to make them feel like they have a higher esteem and again when we're down here and we think they're up here when they boast we just think they're boasting themselves higher and higher and making um, all these feelings ignite within us of inadequacy or you know our lower self-esteem goes lower and lower so um, so you know who this person is in your life um, and, you know it could be a parent it could be a sibling it could be friends it could be people at school it could be bosses or peers at work so you know these um, the situation of this love that was um, shaken within you we're going to get confirmation or some clarification on these through these love oracle cards and we'll see what other information the creator would like you know about the pain of your past <clears throat> just what would be the most beneficial for you now to look at to help you um, get to the root of your self-love and see what blocks are there because they talked about you know you can only love others as much as you love yourself see so if this pipeline and if there's clogs in there those are the things that we can look at and remove and that flow of love grows bigger <clears throat> Right. There we go. All right, Creator, what else would you like Gemini's to know about the pain of their past, please? Okay, boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> so I feel like the first one is going to be the hammer. This is sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation. Oh, repetitive, so I couldn't read that so far away. Uh, persistent working on it so i really feel yeah this was like you know they came down like a hammer <clears throat> um for you so um anything you did that uh kind of represented you stepping out of line from what they wanted um you know they would just come down and just judge 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 in such a a strong way for you that you were just like oh my god <laughs> you walked on eggshells and you did give in a lot because um it was just easier for you to give in than put up with all the repercussions that came and they made sure of it and that's how you felt manipulated until the relationship ended or you distanced yourself from them <clears throat> and you got passion insane chemistry like each other equally having fun um this is what you what kept you engaged with them for so long you just had this uh like it says insane chemistry you just really connected so you know it was a very um volatile um i was gonna say extreme kind of interactions right you either were getting along having a blast laughing hysterically or you were at war there was like no in between <laughs> But I love you have ascending and transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union. And I love this because um, this is all about getting us to where you're at today. You, when you look back at those situations, it happened on purpose and it happened for you. And that is one of the big transitional things that is going to going to help with your life. Um, I'm sorry, your love adventure here because and, and your life adventure too because it impacts every area of your life when you realize that everything that came into your life and will come into your life and is in your life is for you to help you understand yourself more deeply by experiencing frustration you understand what peace is um appreciative for more what peace is and understand what peace is you experience sadness you understand the depths of happiness um you know it's like if you always were in a warm pool all the time you wouldn't appreciate that it's a warm 
a pool or like a hot tub. But if you, after experiencing being in cold water, you understand the difference um, even more deeply, especially if you go from cold water into a hot tub or a hot tub into cold water, right? You feel that, um, that contrast um, even more deeply. <clears throat> so that's what the creator kind of wants you to understand about the pain of the past and what's kind of blocking that, that flow. And what we're going to look at next is what current energy, or what the creator wants to know, wants you to know about your current energy. Just kind of what um, is going on, what's bringing this into your face. And just the advice that the Creator has for you in this moment. And we're going to use the Oracle of the Seven Energies just to get some information here. So Creator, for Gemini, what do you want them to know about their current energy? Okay. It is what it is. <clears throat> and this is number six. <clears throat> it's interesting that number six, um, for me, represents, like, I think it's numerology, is around, like, the parental units, you know, mother, father. So, you know, especially kingly here, um, it could represent someone in an authority over you, you know, or more specifically for some of you, because this is a general reading, of course. Um, it's about your, your papa, your dad. Um, so <clears throat> let's see what she mentions in the book here for your message. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the energy around this card is radical acceptance, engaging life on life's terms, observing circumstances and taking them at face value recognizing and releasing resistance and denial. So it says, what happens when you look at the world? Can you see it exactly as it is or only as you assume it to be? A door closing isn't an invitation to take a battering ram to it. <laughs> what if there were another door to lead you to your destiny? If you can release your attachments to getting what you want, you'll be surprised by how much energy you have for more important things. Liberated from the burden of yearning, you'll have access to what is best for all. Can you try now to accept things as they are and shift your focus and attention until that other door opens for you? Radically accept life on life's terms. When you stop fighting against it and instead fight for what you truly desire, more of the world becomes available to you. When you're no longer in denial about what is in front of you, you will be empowered to make necessary changes with respect to yourself, your attitude, and your choices. The irony is that real transformation can happen once you surrender to the idea that things are exactly as they're meant to be. If you step back with clarity and acceptance, you will realize that life is offering you something magical. Even if circumstances send you on a temporary detour, you will discover treasure beyond your imagination and a new way to embrace the world. Keep this prayer in mind. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And I love that. <clears throat> you know, we talked a little bit about um, accepting life on life's terms. <clears throat> and when we look at um, one of the phrases that I love is we don't see the world as it is. We see the world as we are. And one of the transformational types of things that you go through with this, with the, it, it is what it is, is you look at um, the reflection that this person gives you because 
we are the ones that choose our self-worth, right? That's why it's called self-worth. When we look outside of ourselves to define ourselves by other people's opinions, that's called retail. And so what that does is it makes us feel unstable. It makes us feel low because there are, are ever-changing um opinions out there and their opinions are based on how they feel about themselves so if they have a s low self-worth they're going to be looking at you and reflecting a low self-worth to you um, and you're going to take what they're saying because you have a low self-worth um, that's our society working <laughs> um, and you take that on and um, as you're you know you that low clearance, you know, blue light special retail price that they're portraying to you and you're taking that on as your self-worth, but you're the one that gets to decide that. And that's the, the whole journey of this life is all about our worth. And so when you're looking at this love adventure, when you're reflecting back on this and seeing, okay, let me go back and I know how I perceived what happened, but with the new information, new awareness, higher self-love, when you go back to look at those situations, then you realize um, things were different than I had perceived them back then. I know when you know, I looked at a lot of my beliefs about my my worth and when i look back on my on the past you know of course you look at your parents it always goes back to they have a, such a strong influence on on who you are right but when you go back and look at situations um i would go back and uh, you know i perceived like oh i felt abandoned during that time <clears throat> and when i would go back and look I, whether i saw my mom or my dad in the situation <clears throat> i would see them turn into little children and their parents pop up behind them. And I just instinctively and intuitively felt like what they went through in their childhood. And then their parents shrunk and their, um, you know, my grandparents, my great grandparents popped up behind them <clears throat> and it kept going. And I saw how everyone had an imperfect childhood. Everyone had um, this, life of feeling unsafe at times, um, going into the unknown, having things not turn out or be what they wanted it to be. And it was children raising children, raising children, raising children, raising children. That's what, our, what we are. And so you just kind of be able to see life from that different perspective, knowing that, you know, this wasn't personal. This was just people reflecting how they were feeling about themselves and when you realize that then you're like okay i don't take it personally because it wasn't personal they were looking at life through their eyes just as i was looking at life through mine and my filters my experiences and everything so i love that this um you know it, it is what it is i get to see past this i get to see life clearly <clears throat> i was going to get clarification on this through this cute little deck of the everyday tarot deck it's really cute and small looks really tiny in my huge hands um, and we'll see what additional information validation or clarification the creator wants to bring through about your current energy so this is a big transformational point for you because if that really sinks in it transforms everything in your life all right, Creator, what else would you like Gemini's to know about their current energy, please? Yep, you got the Six of Swords, which I love this because, um, again, a number six. But um, these are the old thoughts, and you're moving across the river of emotion into a new place. So this is a transformational um, type of card. Um, they even have like this used to... Uh, reflection is like a... Um, 
the god of death who takes people across the the river i forget what river it is but it's taken them across the river of death into new life and this is like what um you know your current energies are happening you're moving from the the swords are thoughts and beliefs <clears throat> so the six of swords in this situation is you're moving from old thoughts to new thoughts so <clears throat> that's perfect for this <laughs> And you got a six of cups. So this is all about reflecting um, your current self, looking back into your child self, your little self, and looking over the emotions that you experience. So <laughs> I can't add more to that. That is just like so, so perfect there. Yep. And then you got the Knight of Wands. Um, and what I love about the Knight of Wands, because um, that's about your fire and that passion inside, um, you know, one of the things that mentioned this, it is what it is, is you don't realize how much energy that you put into maintaining this or avoiding it, <laughs> running from it, um, or keeping it suppressed. When you go in and you look at the situation, when you look at that clog that's in that pipeline of your self-love, when you remove that, you, all this energy that was being poured into here gets poured back into you. And you just have this flood of amazing love energy. And you just like, whoa, where did all this come from? And you don't realize that release of all those things. Um, and just how much it impacts your life. So I love that for you there. Next, we're going to look at um, what choices you're going to be looking at um, during this one to three month period. Um, what the creator wants you to know about the choices that are coming up. And we're going to use these Path of the Soul Destiny cards just to get that information. Creator, what do you want Gemini's to know about the choices that they're going to make, please? Okay, that one really wanted to pop out. So I'm going to listen and take that. <clears throat> this is number one. And I love that. Almost at first glance for me, it looked like an egg that had hatched. And all this um, feels to me like a tree. And I'll read from the book, but just intuitively, it's like the tree of life and this balance that happens um, as you connect higher and higher. And I mentioned unity um, in here too. Um, yeah, this one is preparing for union. And coming to number one, you know, it's about understanding that we are not separate. We're all little drops in the mighty um, sea of unconditional love. <clears throat> and so all of us are experiencing everything together. Um, there's not this separateness. There's not this um, they versus us. You know, before you came down here, you requested what you wanted to experience. And for some of your drama, you needed specific characters. And these individuals or this individual chose to become that for you and to be that for you so just know that this was you know someone special it takes someone special to be willing you know to be this um catalyst for you in your life because we're beings of unconditional love on the other side and we want to uh you know when we put on this that's the actor right and this is the character they play it's not who they are but it's the character they play, but there's a higher being behind all of these characters. <clears throat> um, and this card is called Creation. So you are a creator. When this card appears, it signifies a strengthening in your energetic field to bring those things which you require into physical manifestation. Creation is happening quickly from thought into form. So be cautious. I'm sorry, be conscious of what thoughts you're having. The time between the thought and its appearance in the physical will be quick. Now's the time to get clear about what you desire in your life. The universal energies are working with you to bring your desires to fruition. 
And I love that for this reading, what stood out to me really is the, the quickness of it. Um, you might have this belief like, oh my God, there's so much that happened. And, you know, we're taught that all oh, this is going to take a long time to deal with. But in actuality, that's just a story that we're told. It doesn't have to be that way. I have found that when I deal with one root cause, it ripples across so much that changes so much that you don't have to go back, you know, like, oh, this happened for 15 years. So I'm going to have to have 15 years of therapy or 15 years of dealing with it. No, once you get um, one root, um, so many similar situations that reinforced, you know, your belief about what happened also gets transformed. <clears throat> And we're going to take the Light Seer's Tarot here and get clarification on this. All right, Creator, what else do you want our Geminis to know about the choices that are coming up for them in the next one to three months? That one, any others? Yep, okay. Yep, the world. And this is the completion. I love it's a completion of a cycle, and um, you can see how there's just joyfulness in here, and the um, you can see how the snake. You know, this is a snake, so it's this whole transformation and how it's eating its own tail. And that's what um, the completion um, is about. <clears throat> so um, this, you have a choice that's coming up to end the cycle or not. And I talked about, you know, reflecting back and it's children raising children, raising children, raising children. A lot of beliefs get passed down from generation to generation to generation to generation to generation. To generation. And what I feel this card is representing is you have the choice to break that cycle. You can break um, different interactions and different cycles in your ancestry in this lifetime. So you can be the, that individual that, um, you know, breaks that chain. So I just feel that is the message for that. That's coming up here too. You get to create a new reality for your ancestry. <clears throat> And then lastly, the last Oracle card we're going to pick here is going to be about your future energies. So this was your current energies. This will be what the Creator wants you to know about your future energies. And this, for this one, we're going to look at the Journey of Love Oracle. Creator, what do you want our Geminis to know about their future energy, please? Okay. I like that is the one there. And it's Angel of Jupiter Awaken, again, a number six. <laughs> so there's definitely um, synchronicity around the number six here for you. <laughs> and let's read from the little book here. So it says, Beloved, within you there is magnificence, greatness, and the ability to live bolder, larger, and more exuberantly than you may have ever imagined. Awaken that keen spirit, hungry for adventure and new experience. The angel of Jupiter, the spirit of bold expansion and divine generosity lives within you. Your spirit cannot be made small, but must be free. Start now, feel the endlessness of your own heart. What can be done to live bigger? A smile? A yes to that offer of adventure? sharing vulnerability without fear, taking a step toward, uh, I'm sorry, a step forward into the unknown, daring to imagine that the divine doesn't just happen, 
to you, but happens through you as you. Embrace the courage of your own open heart and dare to dream, beloved. The bold, divine nature within you is calling you to great things. Now is your time to awaken. This oracle holds a message of guidance for you. You're being given an opportunity that can change your life. Don't hesitate to accept it. If you're acting with more assertiveness, more generosity, more playfulness, and more spiritual authority than usual, this is confirmation that this is coming from a genuine place within you. If you're experiencing some havoc in your life or sense that things are changing, this oracle comes as affirmation. Yes, there is change. And yes, you're outgrowing what once was. So you will be prepared to receive that which is more suited for your next stage of growth. I love that. It's just <laughs> so much of affirmation of everything that we talked about here. Um, and so this is the energy that you're going to be dealing with toward the end of the one to three month period, whatever that is for you there. And I'm going to pull one last um one last card, or we'll see how many come out from the Light Sears Tarot for confirmation or affirmation or clarification or additional information on your energies, whatever the Creator would like you to know. <clears throat> Creator, what else do you want Gemini's to know about their future energies? Okay, any others? Okay, get two. <clears throat> yep, so the first one is number six. Again, um, the lover's card, um, this can mean masculine divine energy, but I really feel um, this is mother, father. Um, type of energy. So, you know, in dealing with um, this situation and this energy and the this pain of the past, um, it'll release you from the opinions and the judgments that you had on, you know, these individuals or this individual of the past. Now, you don't have to act on that. You know, you don't have to reconnect um, you know, with an individual, um, if you don't want to, um, this is all about all this happened inside you, not outside of you. So whether you reconcile in the physical world with this person, you don't have to do that. If you feel that it will help you release it, then by golly, you know, do, do what you feel and, um, follow your gut and your heart. But, um, if you do, this is going to open up. And like you said, when you deal with this clog in that pipeline, it allows you to love others more and receive love from others to where you might've been resistant before you can allow them to love you and you can allow yourself to love them more as well. Yep, and then you got the Nine of Cups. And the Cups is the emotions. This is emotional fulfillment. So <clears throat> I definitely love, you know, this Jupiter is all about the happiness and, um, you know, the expansiveness. And it's just going to allow you to feel more than you've ever felt in your life in a positive way. You know, sometimes we disconnect our emotions because we don't want to feel these things anymore. But it also excuse me, keeps us from feeling that deep love. So as we go through this love adventure coming up, I'm really excited. Just know that it's going to be totally worth it. You're going to feel so free and so um, just abundant in the love that you feel. So as you go through this little cycle here, this little love adventure, just know every second of every moment you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things, the mother and father of all things. And hey, I love you too. We'll talk to you soon. Hang in there.